Okay, so when we do these exercises, it's really important to understand the difference between a pre-workout and a post-workout exercise or stretch. If you do a post-workout and pre-workout, that could lead to injury, or doing the right pre-workout can lead to better performance, so big time opposite spectrum. So what we're gonna do is learn how to activate our hip flexors with our hip um, and also pulling our low back. So the pre-workout, we wanna actually start in a lunge, and you'll see this from the side. Uh, what you wanna do is make sure first that when you stand that your hips are perfectly neutral. And then you're gonna bend down so that your knees are actually not going past your foot. And if you look at this from the front, you're gonna see my knee is actually just slightly outside of my foot. And then from the side here, the back leg should be as straight as possible. So I'm squeezing that back leg and just by doing that, you'll feel the traction in the hip flexor right here. So first I'm gonna really activate the hip flexor by leaning slightly back and towards the front knee. And now to activate the entire extremity, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually plantar flex my foot and then drop it down. And I'm gonna repeat that 20 times and I'm gonna feel a big traction here as I activate the entire extremity. So I'm getting ready to perform. Um, then what we're gonna do is to stabilize the hip even further. So we're in this position, we're gonna go back to neutral, we're gonna come forward Keep notice my butt does not move, so you're not doing this, but you're coming forward, and now you're putting a lot of load and tension into this hip right here, and you're gonna reach forward as far as you can, and then reach up. From this position, you'll feel it really working, then we're gonna do some little crunches, but for your low back. We call these good mornings. And this is really gonna activate that hip lever here and get you ready to perform. Okay, there's your pre. Now the other end of the spectrum is the post. And this is going to be we use the couch stretch, which is going to really traction out the hip flexor, but also compress the knees, which is uh, really good for overall meniscus health. So um, come on over here. I'll do it right over here. So what this is gonna look like is I'm gonna take my knee like so and push it all the way up against the back of a couch. And at first you might find this very difficult to where you have to lean way forward just to get your knee all the way back. And my foot should touch the wall, or if it's your couch, you might just touch the back of a couch. We're gonna stay here for one minute, squeezing the glutes tight, keeping our, hip flex, our, our hips as neutral as possible. And we're going to actually sit up straight while pulling our hips into flexion. You don't want to overextend here. And overextension will just lead to back problems and it's not even doing anything for the purpose of this exercise. So sitting up straight as far as you can for the next minute. So one minute here, one minute trying to traction up. I feel this here, I feel this in my knee. You might just feel it in the knee for the compression. And then to further, if you get beyond this point to where it's getting easy, then you can just raise your arm up and again, traction the hip flexor. So this is a long two minute exercise. Make sure you do both sides. Okay, once you get to the next phase, you're actually on the floor doing the exact same thing. So again, I'm here, I'm here. Remember 20 minutes, just, I'm sorry, one minute just trying to push your butt into the wall, keeping your, your hips neutral, squeezing the glute muscles, and then we're working up to here for a minute, as far as you can there. So that's the uh, more advanced position.